Here we go. Okay. Thank you for being here, guys. And today we are here with Marin from Belforti. And again, you can see what they do. It sounds really like a dream. Thank you very much, Marin, for being with us for a new customer service of Zekeke. Thanks. Thanks for the uh, invitation and uh, glad to be uh, here talking about this uh, amazing app. Let's start as usual. Let's talk about Belforti, what it is. Forty is a, contrary to what the name uh, suggests, it's a French company. It's born in Paris, France. It's my own guitar building company. So I'm a professional guitar builder or luthier, depending on uh, how we want to, uh, to say it. And I've been in this job for uh, a couple of years now. I was working and studying in the US and I came back in France a couple of years ago to start this company and to build, let's say, amazing and quite luxury instruments, musical instruments, and mostly electric guitars and basses. And and for a quick note on the name, the Forti comes from my Italian family, from my grandfather. They were Italian immigrants, as a lot of people in France have Italian ancestors. And for that story, my grandfather has two daughters. And the rules are the daughters don't pass the family name. So after my mother and my aunt, the family name that's something I, I wouldn't live with. So I decided to give the company and thus my instruments, my grandfather's name, who is also responsible for uh, giving me uh, the love for uh, hard work, handwork and artisan craftsmanship. So it's a long heritage and it's a beautiful name for a beautiful uh, young company. It's really great. I need to ask you this question after your amazing introduction. Of course, we're talking about guitars. I'm sure that you hear this a lot. What's your favorite? guitarist it's going to be a bassist and it's most probably going to be a guy called victor wood who is unknown for a, a large part of the public it would be mozart on bass his wow. the creativity is beyond human the guy is uh, nice humble he has it all and he's ridiculously good at what he does there's a lot of them i would pick him because he has something special it's something that i like in terms of what he plays and the, and the way he talks there's a lot of them and a pretty eclectic guy in terms of my musical tastes. So I'm a bass player. I have my own bias towards bass guitars in general. So I tend to build a bit more basses than guitars. I do also play guitar, but not as, as good as I would want. And I do have less time to practice being a, an entrepreneur. It's a big sacrifice, but yeah. And it's a bit contrary to what people would think, but to be a good guitar builder, you don't have to be a good player even you can't not be a player at all it's a lot of science engineering and uh, being a craftsman uh, but you can make amazing instruments without being an amazing player the greatest luthiers of all time they have not been known or been famous for being great players but i do play and i do love it yeah that's another thing that i would assume not to be true i see this it's a great thing because you said there's a lot of science behind it. So you don't have to be an expert on how they work or the sound, but it's, yeah, I wasn't thought of it. And it's great because that leads us to another major point of this talk today that you basically did everything by yourself. Okay, okay. So you weren't an expert of 3D configuration of customization and you become it, you learned it. And in, maybe you will talk about it, but in less than a month, you became, you published the product. I saw it, guys, it's astonishing. It's amazing. You will see it afterwards. It's one of the greatest implementation of ZKK. So tell us about it and why did you choose it? I discovered ZKK, honestly, with the, the most basic way, which is looking on, on Google and different options. This is the one that I retained because it looked, it looked better it looked simpler in in the back office and the, the ways to, to work with it and while well, it was italian i'm also a bit biased but i want to work with the europeans as much as i can and it looked like the perfect solution for me so i discovered it i think in, in early this early 2024 summer and while well, i started to do like a free trial and i was i think like a lot of people when i start using a new app which is simple to navigate with but the possibilities are uh, immense so i started to be a bit uh, overwhelmed at first because i that's what i have with many other tools but i'm a, a pretty stubborn guy so i decided that i had to make it work because i wanted to have this 
configurator uh, thing going on. And the reason why I need and want a configurator is musical instrument guitars possibilities are endless in terms of customization and so far the process would be customer would ask me oh i want this and that okay here's the base price but he wants that option so i have to tell him actually it's a bit more expensive than it maybe can cut your your deal or your your sell and also it's hard to visualize because guitars can look so so different depending on all the options and just when it comes to colors i like colors i like to work with them i like to pick choose new ones and i have ended up having 80 colors for my entry level guitars just showcasing those 80 colors to a customer is so time consuming and it's not good for the customer he has to ask me oh can you try with this blue actually i don't like this one can you try it with another and each time i would have to do new renders with uh, my uh, like regular software that i use for 3d modeling and everything so it was not comfortable. It was not uh, professional. It didn't look. It didn't look good, and didn't feel good for neither the customer or myself. So the the main drive for having a, a 3D configurator is to streamline this to enable people who know a lot or don't know a lot about guitars to understand. Okay, when you design a guitar, here's the process. You start with structure. You start then with the colors, the woods, the options, and all of that makes sense. And it only work, I, I used to go with the Excel sheets, Word documents, things you had to check boxes. It was not good. And on top of that, what well, the, the, the Zakehe uh, app, what it does is I do have all of that, well, depending on my ability to implement it and have a good navigation. But it brings me in the end, it, it just sends me a final sheet with all the details, the production sheets. And when you have all of those options, it's super complicated to transform this order sheet into a production schedule because when you have this or that option, it changes the whole production process. So having this just, it's a life changer, it's a game changer, it's super fun. And to go back on the integration, I did it all on, on my own because I'm a one-man company. I have uh, very limited resources. I estimated with like a 3D designer it would have cost me about 50,000 uh, euros if I had to pay someone to do all the single variants of the 3D models because you see a bass here, the same bass with a four-string neck. It changes everything. The frets are different size, the tuners, there's less. Everything changes and then in terms of the amount of hours to modelize, everything is ridiculous. The good thing is I happen to have all of those models because their production models that I build with a CNC machine, so I already have those. So I had to make a compromise, and I know it's not the most optimized thing on the KK because I use a CAD to Blender conversion. So I ended up doing everything on my own, and the last bit of work that I did in the last two weeks is start working on the, the wood textures. So currently we have available public testing the entry level, so the E-series guitars, basses, I just recently published the beta version of the M series, which is the mid-range guitars and basses we have. So they have more wooden textures, they have more complex options. And as I'm speaking currently, I think at the end of the week, we'll have the S series uploaded in late alpha, early beta stage. And this is the, the most advanced series we have. So it has uh, more complex designs, more complex options and everything. And I like to do things on my own because I like to understand what's going on. I like to know if I have to ask someone to do it for me, what it implies and, and what it's the, the amount of work it, it takes. But that's an example. I think that's a very complex product. The amount of possibilities, I think they're beyond 10,000 combinations for just a, a bass or a guitar. And I managed to do that not being a professional 3D designer, not being a Zakeke, and I managed to do it. So I think there's a lot of things that I could do better. Uh, and I, I've, The last builds are much more optimized than the first one, but even not being optimized, they work super fine. They're so fun to play with. My sister, is he, she's a cook. She doesn't know a thing about guitar. She just spends time designing guitars that she liked and it's fun. I mean, I do the same with cars. I go on car brands, Porsches, BMWs, and I just configure cars that I would never buy, but I just have fun. And it's a great thing. It's also a great thing is in guitar shows. I can just display an iPad to the public and they just go and play around and visualize the instrument. They would like their dream instrument. It costs me 
a bit of extra hours this summer, but that's uh, what a summer is for when you're an entrepreneur. And uh, well, it's super fun, surprisingly easy, providing that you're willing to understand and and do that. But I think for a single single person company doing this kind of things, uh, if we think about someone who'd be doing jewelries or our generation is more used to using those tools. And I think it's available and, and doable for any guy or girl that is willing to tackle this big thing. But, yeah, a lot of fun. It's super inspiring because it shows the motivation, the determination, and the creativity. Because thinking about your product, not just in a normal way, because you can showcase just the model and you can say, hey, you can have it in Android colors. No, you pick your own color. You pick your own texture. You pick your own model. So the creator is the actual customer and you get everything done. So you don't have to back and forth. You don't have the manual work of communicating with the customer that can be a pain and uh, you get everything in your admin your shopify admin or, and uh, you get everything in ready to be produced and and then you can have data to understand which model is better or which color is more common or everything that you can use for your own business to grow and uh, again it's super fun because uh, it shows how you can create something from scratch and, uh, and publish it and uh, and see how it, it can expand to maybe other instruments tomorrow, maybe other businesses as well as you grow. And I just have a, a question regarding if you have a feature, if you saw something during your tests on Zakeka and you said, okay, this is it. Like I, I found it because Zakeka have it what it is there's some very funny things like the AI typing thing actually works surprisingly when you have a hundred different options and you type them all it tends to uh, get a bit complicated in the end but for the main thing let's say you get on the landing uh, the, the basic rendering of a, a guitar and say i want this i want a five string bass with a blue color matching headstock gold hardware it just pops you with the exact thing you asked which is Think super fun not to say it's necessary but once you've uh, had a taste of it it's actually very like a, a very fun and, and actually efficient way of getting at the base of the build for the rest I, I said there's one thing that is particularly special because the whole thing is just the whole thing is special because the whole thing makes sense the navigation process when you build your different categories so the process of creating a custom instrument is very, it, it is, it's a straight line. You pick your, whether you want this or that body shape, four or five strings, the size of the instrument, some technical specs. Then you go on to more aesthetics options, then electronics, then all the separate like additions. And the way the app just connects all of those it's super fun. You can play. I, I had a lot of fun uh, finding the right uh, pictograms and the right pictures for each options, all the descriptions, everything. It's just the whole thing is how it should be. And I, I, I don't think there's a better way. We, we could still complexify the thing and have its different layouts and everything, but it works that way perfectly. I think a six-year-old child would understand like, all right, that's how it works. You pick your, your first option, your second, this and that. It's visual. There's a lot of things, but for example, the click on the an object to display the different options. That's amazing. I think it's really great. It's something that I would not use because there's so many options on uh, my product that when you start to, if you click on something, you get you get thrown somewhere else. But for more simple products, it's actually the most efficient way and it's intuitive, which is what people want. What I'm still amazed by is that it handles a very heavy product super easily because on the new M series, you have two models you have each of them is in four five and six strings you have all the wood textures you have all the options in the back office all of those models are on the product so it's just and bearing in mind that i did that and it's not optimized and if i had like proper really well-made 3d models it would be super fast and on top of that it's accessible it's not expensive comparing to what a custom configurator would, would cost and it's I'm a one-man company I'm a small company I'm a young company and I already have with let's say a, a couple of weeks of work an industry leading configurator that's even the biggest brands the biggest names the, the, the multi-billion companies American companies 
they don't even have that. I don't know why they don't, but they don't, uh, probably because they don't need to, but it's amazing. So the, the overall, I, I would not even pick one thing. The overall thing is just so good. And that's it again. I don't have uh, anything else to say because you, you may be even create a new tagline, something that you can create even if you are a six-year-old child. And it's... It is, it is super simple. A complex thing, like a, a musical instrument, it's like a, a it can be like a car for a non-car guy or non-car mm -hmm. girl. It can be like, oh, what are all of those things? Here, you just see them pop and change in front of you. You understand it. You can, you can even discover builds that you have not thought about if you were just looking at all the other guitars on the market because yeah. here we can actually do something very personal and uh, I think it, it would bring people who, who would be close and skeptic about custom yeah. instruments, it would actually make them feel comfortable and I think anyone who just has an iPad or a computer and a mouse just can understand and, and even learn about your three, three techniques, options and everything. So it's amazing. Hearing your story, hearing what you have done and what you have accomplished until today and what you will accomplish from today on. Again, super inspiring, amazing. On a personal note, I will just end with this, if you're okay with this. Can you show us a little bit of like with your guitar? Is it the audience will be thrilled? I'm thrilled because... Yeah. I'm not a connoisseur, but I, I sure. enjoy. Yeah, well, you can actually look. This is also this is an Italian olive top, so it's 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 all about Italy today. And we got roasted woods here, so there. I actually do a roast maple in my shop, so it be, it changes a bit the, wow. the the wood texture, the properties, and it also smells super good. It's amazing. It it shines. Wow. Beautiful. Super, super shiny, super shiny stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. I Then I will just ask you if you can write a little jingle for every videos that we will have from the future. Oh, if I can, if I can get five cents per, per view, I'll do that gladly. <laughs> it's a deal. Again, congrats on everything that you've done. We've been here for you, but we'll be for you supporting your business from for the foreseeable future. And because as we always say, and we're proud to say, we're business partners. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for, for being here with us today. And let's have some fun, guys. Let's go and customize some guitars because they are amazing on the 40. And thank you very much. Thank you, Mario. Thanks, Leonardo. See ya. Ciao. Ciao.